Yeah, it's back to school week here on live, and we have one of the foremost uh, professors uh, in the college today. You know, uh, an enviable position, a guy who can come out and inspire students to, Maybe change to learn their lives. and change their lives is mm -hmm. absolutely right. Has written this book called True Success, A New Philosophy of Excellence. Here's Tom Morris uh, from Notre Dame. PhD, Dr. Tom Morris. Dr. Tom Morris, excuse me. <laughs> Tom, it's good to have you here. Good to see you. Uh, yeah. you, Kathy you know Kathy Lee. Lee. I brought Kathy Lee a present. What'd Is you it bring? your book? A backup <laughs> copy of <laughs> my book. <laughs> Thank you. Don't let him lose this. I right? won't. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right, success means different things to different people. How would you define it? Well, I, I first had to start thinking about this, Regis, when they gave me the football players about six years ago and said, turn them into philosophers. That's right. quite a challenge. Exactly. So I went back and looked at what the wisest people in history have had to say about success. And it is different things for different people. Success always involves discovering your talents, mm -hmm. developing your particular talents, and learning how to do good in the world mm -hmm. with those talents. And make so a living, for, make a difference. Oh, absolutely. For the least privileged people, for the most privileged people, and everybody in the middle, there's a personal form of success that you can attain. Uh -huh. And that's why I call my book True Success. Not necessarily the standards that other people might want to set for you, but the standards that are right for you. Not, exactly. just, not just monetary. Not just monetary. Sometimes that comes. Sometimes sure. it doesn't. But you can have great success wherever you are on the financial scale. Mm -hmm. So how could parents point their children in the direction of success? Well, parents should encourage their children to discover and explore, uh, try new talents. One of the biggest problems in our time is that the first talent a kid finds that he or she has, they grab a hold of that. We're so desperate for self-esteem and, yeah. and the recognition of others. So a little kid learns to play soccer, and he's good at it. And so it's soccer, 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 nothing else. That's one of the greatest problems because nobody just has one talent. Talents always come in clusters. You become so, a one-dimensional person. Absolutely. And you're not an interesting person. You won't live a full life. So I tell parents, encourage your kids to try new things. Discover all the talents hidden away. And in fact, at our age, we should still be discovering our talents. He's learning to play the piano. Thank well, you. There you go. There you absolutely go. Absolutely. But I'm not a success. <laughs> <laughs> it you takes are because a you, it's a you journey. have the courage to even yeah. start with. That's I'm right. It's of... more of a journey than a it destination. Sure is. It sure is. All right. Well, let's talk about five tips now. Let's talk about tips for kids. Okay. Oh, absolutely. This is so important. And parents, tell your, your, your kids these things. First of all, get to know your teachers. Uh, talk to the professor after class. Go to the professor's office between classes. Uh, relationships are the key to success. I mean, you two are a perfect example of that. This show is built on the special something you have between you. It's the same, it's the same way in school. Relationships are everything. Mm -hmm. so, so kids should get to know their teachers. They should get to know their classmates because that will be the basis for all kinds of success later in life. Some kids are very shy. Absolutely. They are. And they inhibited are. and afraid even to say hello and introduce oh. themselves to the kid who's sitting in the next desk. When I got to Yale, I thought, I'm the stupidest guy here. Everybody's smarter than me. And I realized six weeks into the semester, everybody felt the same way. Mm -hmm. Not about me, but about themselves. <laughs> Everybody's a little bit intimidated. It's, yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. break out of that break and meet out. that person. And then once you do that, tip number two, okay. take action in other ways as well. Right. For example, ask questions. When a kid gets to college, ask around the campus, who are the great professors? Who do you love in the classroom? Who teaches from the heart? Because no matter what their subject, if it's history or economics or philosophy, you may not have thought about taking that course, but if you have a professor who loves passionate what he does or what she does, you're passionate about it, you'll have a great experience. They'll be with you the rest of your life. So ask questions around campus. And then in class, ask questions. As you read your assignments, ask yourself, what does this mean to me? Uh, what's going on in this book I'm reading? And, and, and once you've taken action, mm -hmm. the third tip mm -hmm. is to, to very carefully and wisely take notes. That's a problem. I mean, some kids never stop writing from the minute they get in class. Not necessary. I've had that at Notre Dame. One semester, I saw the tops of heads. I never saw faces. They were <laughs> writing all the time. And, and one student says to me, Professor Morris, we're taking too many notes in class. I said, easy. Stop taking so many notes. Half the class looked shocked. The other half wrote down, stop taking so many notes. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. Couldn't they tape it? They could tell some exactly what I it. thought. I haven't seen videotapes yet, but they've been audio tapes. Audio tapes. So you, you got to take notes. But then the next tip to success is you got to take a six-minute study break. What does that mean? I don't mean take a break away from study. I mean take a break away from everything else to, to study. study for six minutes per course per day. Uh, an average student takes five courses in a semester. And you take a six-minute break for each one. That's 30, 30 minutes a day. Too without many, interruptions. Right, without interruptions. Too many students say, I'm going to the library. What are you going to do? I'm going to study for two hours. What they're going to do is read for two hours. It's different. Study is review. It's memorization. Six minutes a day. Okay. The final tip is this. When test time comes around, don't worry. Be happy. Now, Tom, 
Go into it with a, with a better attitude. Huh? Huh. That's, that's a tough one when I read that. Well, Kathy Lee, I have had a 300-pound football player come into my office the Me day too. before. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Tom. She isn't. This guy was the human study machine. He comes into my office and he says, Professor Morris, I'm so scared. I said, that's okay. You're nervous. That means you're at an energy level. Don't let it shut you down. Use it. Surf on it. The best people have that nervous energy right. and it takes them to true success. Hey, it's a great book. It really is. It can change your life, too. Tom Morris, True Success. And we thank you so much. Can't wait to read for more information about tips for success, why not send for a copy of our newsletter? $2 business size stamps over this envelope. Send them to live newsletter, issue number 192, post office box 2010, 40 Park, New York, 11002.